shit. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Can you tell me I didn't see what I saw? Turn the car. Hey guys, we're gonna watch an episode of Cops from 1989. It's the very first episode, very first season. You gotta watch this to the end. I, I, I don't want to give it away. Just pay attention because it's absolutely insane. Damn, girl. Damn it! Cops did things different in the 80s. We have all the perimeters set up at this time. It's 205 to respond to the 20th Man, I love these old cars. Street they look great. Position. Things can turn at any moment's notice. But because of the violence and the weapons right, that the are... the first episode, first season, first episode ever. because of the drug-related crimes. Car. Oh, this guy, he don't car. play, this deputy don't play around. <laughs> you got anything in the car you know about? You got any drugs or I'm not sure why, what, what, what the reason for the stop was. That they they, they don't explain it. Okay. <laughs> Who is Relax. this old Relax. lady Relax. <laughs> just walking up behind him? take a look. So, <laughs> his, <laughs> his officer safety, oh my God. Um, probably runs the streets. I mean, he looks like he's a, a jam up cop, but there, the officer safety must be a little bit different back then than, than we handle things now. Um, uh, let me explain what's happening. So you got the, the, the driver of the car off to the side, just a, a couple of feet with our arms reach of this deputy. You got this little old lady, right? We don't know what her intention is. She can be a very nice old lady. Yeah, you have no idea. But, but nevertheless, she's standing right behind the deputy. The deputy turns his back um, after, you know, gaining consent to get inside of the vehicle. He goes inside of the vehicle and uh, and turns his back to everybody. That's uh, I don't know. What's? I just asked you if you got any weapons underneath the seat. Oh shit! He found What's a this? gun. What's huh. this? It's called carrying concealed firearms. You understand? <laughs> so he just <laughs> I. Many years ago, I took a class in Officer Survival by Caliber Press. Now, if you know anything about law enforcement, if you're in law enforcement, Caliber Press uh, is synonymous with officer safety and just, just high-end training. One of the things that I learned in this class was a term called the moment of discovery. And essentially, that means when the suspect or the bad guy knows that you know <laughs> that something's afoot, right? Uh, that you figured out that he's got guns, he's got a drugs, he's got warrants, he's got something, right? And at that point, the suspect has to make the decision. Do I fight? Do I flee or do I comply? Right? Those are his only decisions at that point. That's the moment of discovery. So what we're watching here is is classic moment of discovery. The deputy turns his back to everybody, reaches in the car, uh, finds a gun, holds the gun in the palm of his hand. Why this guy is within arm reach of the gun. And you got the little old lady behind him. Nobody's secure. Nobody's in handcuffs. And he starts telling him, you know, you got a concealed weapon here, right? You got a concealed firearm. So, um, that's a moment of discovery. At that point, the, the suspect can just, you know, he makes his decision. Do I fight, flee, or comply? You know, um, uh, they don't, they're really not showing what happens next, but man, that's nuts. Whose car is this? Who? Your car? You got some papers for it? Well, I smell marijuana. Yeah, this deputy owns you know, the streets, man. He doesn't play marijuana. around. Who, Love Simpson? It. What's you don't mind if we look in the trunk, do you? Okay, no problem. How's everybody doing? We're here just to look for some drugs. That air of confidence, man. That's just, you don't mind that, that's command you? presence right there. Yeah, I gotta go arrest somebody. <laughs> that's a game out here. That's all it is. Officer safety's not so good. But, uh, some days they win, some <laughs> he doesn't look like a guy to play around with. Now, what you can do sometimes, you can sit right here, and you'll see the white guys come in here and make a right turn on 29 way to buy their dope. 97. Let's watch them. And then when they go down the street, you give them about a minute. They go around the corner and there they are dealing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. this is. I'm down the street. I see you making a drug deal right in front of that apartment complex. Did you tell me I didn't see what I saw? That's old school roadside oh, interview and interrogation. Just get up in his face yeah. and grill him. Going on. <laughs> That's old school. No at all, officer. You just hold. You just stay there, no move. Or you hope. Where do you think you're going, pal? I'm lost. <laughs> that was no, the probable cause on that I'm one. I'm not even from around here. <laughs> just no, stop him. No, you're not. I'm from California. You got some ID? Yeah. Let's look at it. But you know what happens over here to white guys like you? Huh? Yes, yeah, sir. But what happens is they usually get yanked out of the car. If, they, if you look easy, then they'll put a gun to your head, pistol whip you, and take your car. Is that worth ten dollars worth of grass? You came to buy drugs? Well, you know what? I appreciate your honesty. Because uh, if you're gonna be straight with me, I'll be straight with you. If your I license like that, is good, huh? I'll give you a little 
slap on the wrist until you'll be on your way. And then I for being honest, don't yeah, see you around here again. It's good that's street policing. No, I don't need you. I don't need you. I'm just, I'm just trying to get these white boys to stop from coming in here. All right. <laughs> oh my see God, me? I can't believe he says that. I'm I, the only white face in this area and age. besides other cops. You don't belong here, okay? It has nothing to do with white or black. It has to do with crime. Yeah, I think everything persons. you said <laughs> had to, to do with white and black. Get involved in serious crimes. I can't believe it. Come over to the car. Wow. Okay, just sit in the back of the car until we confirm because it might be a warrant for your arrest. So All right, so the there back. we go. There's that moment of discovery again. So he's he's got the guy, and man, first of all, this this guy, oh, my hats off to him. I mean, he he does run the streets, man. He's a he looks like he's a really good street cop. Uh, I don't agree with his officer safety, um, and I, again, different time, different day and age, um, and obviously the verbiage he chooses to use is a little different than we we use in today's. I mean, that's just that's insane. But we're gonna talk about that moment of discovery again, and and so he tells uh, the guy we're gonna check you out for warrants, right? He's not secure or anything. Um, well, so we have I don't to get a confirmation gonna, number. Put him in handcuffs. What is, what is it for? No, he doesn't. Oh, my God. He just Violation lets the girl probation. walk up. They're confirming a warrant. Yeah, I said, didn't I say if you come back clean, you're on your way? Well, if there's a warrant for your arrest, we can't let you go. Get back out. Put your hands what, on the What could go wrong here, right? Not holding anything. There's your wallet. Are you letting her walk up again? <laughs> there he goes. That's the moment of discovery. Holy shit. 210-1031. There goes the foot chase. It's on. This guy gave up. He's running South back to his cars. That's, that's, that's me. <laughs> we have a 99 on a white male. He's got blue long pants on and a white shirt. Heading towards Sunrise. He's going. Stop or I'll shoot you in the back. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, he's got nunchucks. He's got nunchucks. Holy crap. Dude, he's got nunchucks. I don't. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't give him nunchucks. I don't, I don't have nunchucks. Officer safety, man. Moment of discovery, right? You can't just. You gotta secure people, man. He's got nunchucks. You stay the hell back. You don't get out of here. I'm gonna tell you. I don't care. Oh, there we go. Here comes the family member. There's always a loud family member. There's always. There she goes. There's always one. Got to come up on every scene. Make everything difficult. Guys got a warrant, man. Just let them do their job. The uh, original Karen. <laughs> oh God, she's so annoying. Yeah, she keeps going. Yeah, there's always one. No kidding. Very, very cool. Alright. She's wandering around. Gotta tell her to get out of there. Okay? You gotta hit on this guy, put him in there, shut the door. Okay? Can't leave him like that. Yeah, he's correcting him right now. The boss is correcting him. He knows. Well, what street is this? He did a great job. He caught him, right? Shut up. Shut up. You got no reason to talk. <laughs> yeah, he caught him. He did a great job. But honestly, the officer safety thing, yeah, that could have been avoided. You know, if you're going to. If you're gonna if you're gonna make that arrest, if you even if you're gonna verify a warrant, either play dumb and don't tell him you're gonna verify the warrant. Just play dumb, you know, have a conversation with the guy until until it's confirmed, or or secure him in the back seat of your car. There's nothing wrong with that, um, but to let the girl walk up like that and uh, <laughs> he said stop or I'll shoot him in the back. Yeah, we we cops did things different in the 80s. 